and just to remind our, our viewers and our listeners, and I don't know if we mentioned it, but the, the article uh, that Baldemar uh, shared with us in our Dickerson Digest is four things to know before hiring a lawyer. So I think that's, you know, just as you, you set that up, it's critical to have kind of a, a foundation or a framework to kind of go in or get your mind ready before you start to, to choose them. And so you talked about uh, investigating uh, and inquiring interview price and then selecting. So tell, tell us some more about that. Well, um, like, like I, I can't remember the article. I should have looked at it before we started. But um, <laughs> right. this is something I've been thinking about for a long time. I think like, like everyone, no matter what you need today, we live in, in an enlightened age of the internet. So there's no excuse to be ignorant about anything yeah. ever. So like, like you, uh, and Catalina and, and Mike, if I have a question, just like everybody out there, if I have a question, I open my phone and, and Google it. And you can use whatever search engine you want, of course, but Google's kind of ubiquitous. So I'll Google um, how much does uh, a new dashboard cost for my car if my dashboard has a crack was one. Or if you want to do some repairs around the house, you'll say, or or your car, or whatever it is, you Google it, and sure enough, you get a little bit of information, and then you watch a YouTube video or two, and, and with most things around the house, I'll say, that's above my skill level, I can't do it, I'm gonna hire somebody to do it. And if it's real simple, like for example, uh, the battery in my wife's car key. I typed in, you know, battery replacement, sure enough, on my phone, a 15 second video that showed how to do it. I didn't have to go look at the owner's manual and I did it. So yeah. it, was, it was real easy. So kind of the same thing when it comes to hiring a professional, um, I would tell anyone, if you have a certain legal problem, you Google for a lawyer in the, in the jurisdiction that you're in, Laredo, San Antonio, wherever. And of course you're gonna see paid ads and then you're gonna see your search results. And it's, it's like buying a house or buying a car or deciding to see a movie, you can scroll at your leisure. Um, if somebody catches your attention, you can dig a little deeper. There might be someone who you, who you dislike or someone who you like and you can narrow your choices down. And uh, I think I mentioned in the article, I think other than just typing in something general like probate lawyer in San Antonio or um, criminal lawyer in El Paso or whatever your, your search engine is or your search query is, then maybe once you start seeing a couple of names and you, you learn a little bit about the subject area, then you can get a little more specific and say, well, I searched for um, trial lawyer in Laredo, but I have a, a contract situation or I have a, a, an accident or I got ripped off. And so the more you, you narrow your search or just in general, like what to do when uh, someone breaches a contract or what to do when someone won't return your deposit or whatever the problem is, right? You can, you can get a little more well-versed with the situation that you're in. And then you can see if in, a, in addition to saying, well, I found um, a lawyer that, that handles my area or, or the subject that I'm involved okay. with, but maybe I can get a little more narrow. Like for example, um, you're getting a divorce, divorce lawyer, family lawyer in Laredo. And say for whatever reason, um, there's a prenup agreement involved, a prenuptial agreement. You might see under one of those persons on your search, uh, litigated over a thousand prenuptial agreements. And you go, wow, that's exactly my problem. And so you think, well, this person's done what I need to have done, and they've done it several times. So they'll know yeah. exactly what to do. Mm -hmm.